Welcome back to round one. And an uh, interesting thing happened after I stopped the recording during deck building. Um, I was kicked off the client and told that uh, there was an error when I tried to submit my deck. And when I re-logged back on, I discovered that the error was that there was only one venerable Lamasu in my pool, and the second one appeared as a bug, and for some reason that caused my game to crash. So I had to re-log in and really click quickly uh, rebuild my deck. So the only change that you're going to see is that I cut a land for a kill shot. And I'm kind of upset now that I don't get to play two Lamasus, but like I said, it could be for the better. So maybe I just got a freebie for Magic Online. And there you see the kill shot that I was just talking about. Um, it was a keeper for sure. Seeker of the way plus the best possible card to pair with it. play Morph. I highly doubt that I'll have to use my Feet of Resistance here, but looks like we're playing against whoever was competing for our black and white cards with. Ugh. Card is absurd. Well, luckily we drew the best possible card in this situation again. And we get to debilitating injury as first uh, morph. So I think we're actually going to get pretty far ahead here. This is the exact scenario where debilitating injury is insane, especially so because he has the ghost fire blade. So if we can close the game fast enough, it's almost like we force him to mulligan. Yep. Plus we get to trigger our prowess, which is just icing on the cake. And next turn we get to attack with Feet of Resistance up, and then more. So Soggy Archer. Well, this game started off pretty well. Unfortunately now he gets to go Morph plus Equip. And then we get to Feet of Resistance. Oh, he has a tap land, which is fortunate for us. Yep. Our tempo plays have been pretty phenomenal so far. He just takes it, so I'm going to unmorph my guy. as much damage to him as possible. Set up a potential feat of resistance combo kill if we can get him low enough. Okay. One thing to keep in mind is that his morph is colorless, so the speed of resistance um, we have to be careful about which color we name. Like if we uh, if we attacked the feet of resistance here, um, he could just leave his morph as is, and then the seeker of the way dies, and we get two for one. So I think the play here is actually face down admin guide. Um, I have to decide if I want to attack with the Krumar or not. I don't think I do. Mm, that's not true, because this guy's going to flip up to be too big to handle. I guess I'd rather trade for it now and potentially clear the way for my Abzan guide if I draw a green source. And I got his own Abzan guide off the table. This is the reason why I wasn't a big fan of kill shot. If when we have aggressive starts like this, then he could just leave his Abzan guide back on defense. And then we're in significant trouble. I have to hope he doesn't have a follow-up that's too good. Like that one. Yeah, we're in quite 
quite a bit of trouble here. I think I just have to hope he attacks and leaves himself vulnerable or something, but... As you can see, this is why I would have loved to have double Lamassu at this point in my deck. Especially in the Absand Mirror, where he's just clogging up the board with massive ground creatures that we can't punch through. Yeah. Attacking. Well, that's good for me, I guess. I don't think I use the kill shot right here, though. No, that's not true. I'm just going to fire it off while I have the opportunity. There was a consideration, I was thinking about this earlier, um, I could have gone for some sort of combo finish if I got him low enough, where I feed of resistance my seeker, attack with both my creatures, and then kill shot my other creature to trigger prowess again, squeak in uh, lethal, but it doesn't look like we're going to get close enough in this scenario. Abzan banner would be a pretty ideal draw here. Oh, that is, oh wait. Uh, which one's which? See, this is uh, kind of awkward because since this card has two triggers, or two targets, I can't tell which one he's tapping and which one he's dealing two damage to. Because I want a feat of resistance, the one that he is dealing two to, but I can't tell which it is. I guess we can tell if we look at the chat. Cast Winter Flame, targeting... Okay, so he wants to kill the morph and tap the seeker, it looks like. It's very interesting. I think regardless, I'm casting feet here, because if he's dealing two to the seeker, um, I trigger prowess anyway. So here I just really want to draw forest. And I'm going to name black with the feet of resistance in case this is a ruthless ripper and I decide that I want to attack. And it's kind of messed up that I don't get to see which is which. Oh, I guess he still gets... What? I'm so confused. Oh, man. I think I'm just playing the horde chief as is. The one one's not going to be that relevant anyway. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up some beef with the uh, the higher ups on Magic Online about that, because that was kinda BS. But I couldn't tell the difference there. I wish I had Lama Sues right now. See he put in his, oh, he put a Blood Soak Champion in his yard? That is disgusting. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was actually pretty good. I'm gonna get to uh, kill this thing attack with everybody. We'll go ahead and F6. Let's see what his morph was. So Dragon Eye Savants. That is fine. I assume he has something good in his hand that he got from Soothsayer. Assume it's coming down here. Hey, look, he's in Lamasu range. Yes, I'm going to keep complaining about this. It's not like we're in danger of dying or anything, but I don't love my chances here just because he's going to play something else that I can't attack through and then. His top decks are most likely better than mine. I do have a lot of removal though, so 
always the chance. He could like slip up and I top deck a removal spell or something. Okay, it's a morph, but I assume it's a good one, because it's probably the one he got off the Sayer. Okay. Where's Harold? 